So these light sticks are made from a company called 8EVP. It's a small company out of Tennessee, and they make a lot of products for the emergency services, uh, EMS, police, and fire. Um, firefighter by trade, so that's how I stumbled across the product. And I absolutely love the applications. So we'll quickly go over it. It's an aluminum alloy stick that they put a row of 50-50 chips in. You have your options of two different colors with the push buttons built right in. So for cabinet lighting, underglow lighting, any kind of application where you're lighting a galley or um, interior, this is a good solution because the switch is built in. So you can see these are really, really bright. They're more on the cool white than the warm. Um, then this yellow switch here is for the red. If you can tell, that's red. This is a 12 inch stick here, but the one thing that I really like about this from any other product I've seen that's LED is that it's mounted on a rigid stick. That makes mounting them extremely easy. You can apply some 3M tape on the back, or you can just run a couple of tap screws through the, the ends and you're done. And then having the switch built in, you don't have to put in your own switch, makes it a bonus. So I keep buying more and more of these things, guys. So what I got is a series of them here. I've got three that are gonna go in the galley, my Harker trailer. So I've got red whites to go in there. And then I started a project of underglow lighting for the steps. So I've got a smaller one here in amber. And then this is a larger one for amber for underneath in the galley area of the hiker. And then uh, I've got a smaller one here for the toolbox in the front. So the nice thing about this is I have a little independent switch, tie it into the battery, illuminate my toolbox really well. So let's get to putting them in. The light, which is gonna go right here, the long way. We played around with multiple locations and found that this one illuminated the step the best. So we're gonna put it from here to here. It's six inches long. We're gonna tie it in and then go to the back alley. Feed in the trailer. What? Talking about video. Turn it on here, make sure it works. Hey. And there was light. And I kind of centered it between the receiver and the tire. Knowing I might put a bike hitch in there, I did test that out and my bike catch as it's coming in only comes to about here. So we're trying to decide how much light to put in the center galley. So there's a 24 inch stick here and then we have a 12 inch stick. The difference obviously is double the amount of light. So let's stand back see what it looks like one at a time. That's the 12 or 24? 12. That's the 12. So we've got red. We can use it for bug mode if we need to. And that's the 24. And you can see this amount of spill light is pretty incredible with the 24. Got a mess here with all my tools, but lots of spill light to see how things will go. Oh, it's amazing stuff. Anyway, so we're going to mount them underneath the underside of this cabinet here. We're going to run it right through here. Have a little bit of clearance away from this. Um, just for a little bit of air. Because this 
aluminum portion acts as a heat sink for the LEDs. So let's get them mounted up. So in the top hiker, got a problem with these cross braces. So you have to pick what side to put the light on, here or here. Can't really center it too well. So one of the things I talked to Wes at the, at the uh, plant about was mounting it on the inside. So. I think we're going to do that. So right here, actually a groove here, and with the tape, this will be perfect. I can just tape it in place, no screws necessary, and there's a channel, and this thing fits in here perfect, and then there's a channel above that I can run the wires can run down this way, down the door jam, and then down into the fuse panel. So let's mount it up. Basically, it's just two wires. I extended the wires. I ran them down in here into my battery box, and there's just you hook up the negative, you hook up the positive, and I put an inline fuse. So that's it. Then, once you've got your power run, then all you do is turn your light on, and boom. So, okay, guys, so we got the 12 inch sticks in. These are some of the night shots, so you guys can see what they look like. A lot of the hikers have the bento boxes at top, whether you've got that or clear plastic, whatever you've got on the top. you got plenty of light. So this light here, this 12-incher, is facing inward. This has got the dual switches with the red-white. So you got plenty of light. And we'll go back to white. I'm going to go to the lower one. Now this one here is going straight down underneath there with the dual switches also we'll turn them all red once we get them all on and then we got the lower one same thing just aiming straight down so you've got two that are aiming down and then the top one is aiming in so let's back up here a little bit Give me an idea. This is in my garage. Lots of spill light. So that'll be nice. 12 inches plenty. We had tried, tried the 24s, they're just too much. And take a look. So that was just straight down from the door. Ran both of these. Across the main trailer beam in the front. Worked out well. Love how they look. Back around the trailer. Plenty of side lighting. And it'll probably change quite a bit when I'm out away from these white walls in my garage. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, light bouncing off the white walls. <laughs> and center this 12 inch in the back. Nice even lighting. I like it. Toolbox. Plenty of 
plenty of light there. You see that illuminates this whole front, no problem. So let's say you're backing in the dark, you need all the light possible to set up camp. So first off, you turn on our galley lights. This is the standard issued hiker light. Um, then you come back, got the 12 inch sticks from eight EVP. So those light bars, one, two, three, in there. We've got the hardcore spotlight in place here. We've got a 24 inch 8 EVP light stick on the roof and uh, magnets so you can stick up there, use it for extra lighting or put it in your awning aiming down and that's a red white combination light too. That's just a cigarette plug. Got a special light I got from 8 EVP and it's got a dim control and a power on usb driven that's here this would be a nice light for the cooking space got the underglow lights going and then you've got your standard issued right here underneath the awning my standard issued exterior lights that came with the trailer everything else was wired in by myself All right, just wrapping up. Tired, long day. On and off, working on it since about 3 o'clock, and it's going on 9. Took a supper break. Anyway, any uh, comments, questions on the lights? Anything that I wired up? How I wired it up? Pick that up now. Um, please put them down in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. All right, we'll talk to you later, guys. Have a good one.